Good morning beautiful people, I'm Alex and this is Gingerhead & Co, my sewing vlog. Today part 1 of Berda Hoodie Hack tutorial and you're going to see how I cut out my pockets, how I finish the pocket opening with the ribbing and how I attach the pocket pouches using reverse cover stitch. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. We've got the front and the pocket pouches cut out. Because the pouches are going to go inside but they're going to be top stitched here, we will start stitching here. I need six millimeters or even one centimeter of the seam allowance here. So I'm going to measure one centimeter from the top here. I can start my pocket opening from here because I know that I've got enough to cover the seam. I can start it much lower of course, but I can't start it higher because I would have to move the pocket pouch. So this is my, my starting point and then I determine how big I want the opening to be. So let's say that I want 11 centimeters or four and a half inches from the bottom to be closed. My pocket opening is going to finish here. I'm going to use French ruler to connect my top point to when my opening is going to start with my bottom point. And I'm checking if it's enough for a hand to go in. It is definitely enough for a hand to go in. So this is the wrong side of the fabric now. And I'm going to draw a pocket. And uh, my pocket is 15 centimeters, about 9 inches. I have decided that I want it not to be too deep, up to 5 centimeters or 2 inches deep. That will help me decide where to draw the opening. I'm connecting my beginning and the end. That's my pocket determined. Now I need to cut it out. To make sure that they are perfect on both sides, I just fold it in half. That's the front of the top. The bottom is matching. My sleeve is going to go here, so they're matching. Now I can cut out both of them at the same time. The front of the top now looks like that and my pocket pouches are going inside but they're going to be attached like that so that when the ribbon goes here so you've got the pocket opening and it's going to be finished with the ribbon so that's how i cut my pockets and i always decide on a different shape so this time i didn't want them to be very deep but i didn't want them to be very shallow so they are sort of in the middle so i've got my front of the top with the pocket openings cut out and uh, i'm going to finish them with the ribbing but i'm going to show you how to measure how much ribbing we need for finishing of the opening so i've got my flexi ruler because i'm trying not to stretch it so i'm measuring that and it says 18 centimeters or seven and a half inches. So let's say we need eight inches of ribbing for finishing the pockets. I've got two eight inches pieces of ribbing that are going to be attached to the pocket opening. Right sides together, the ribbing is folded in half along the length. Right side of the ribbing matches the right side of the fabric and I'm not pulling anything. One is in and the other one again holding in half right sides together so right side of the ribbing matches the right side of the fabric under the foot not pulling anything pocket is done. Now we are going to top stitch it using the cover stitch and we are going to top stitch the, the ribbing on the pockets using the cover stitch machine. Under the foot I'm using this space as a guide. My needles are going just under the ribbing. All the seam allowances are facing downwards so facing the center of the front of the top. Foot down and let's go. The 
out the other one under the foot foot down again seam allowances downwards that reach guides me and let's go stitched the other pocket looks like that that's a pocket opening now I'm going to hand paste the pocket pouches to the pocket openings to the fronts the pocket pouches are now inside they're basted by hand that's the basting and just for fun let's do some reverse cover stitching okay so we're going to attach the pocket pouches to the bodies using reverse cover stitch we're going to three needles what we're going to do is we're going to sew on the wrong side of the fabric and again my ridges are going to help me determine where to go so this time the ridge on my foot that is going to guide me to cover the fabric perfectly but I'm going to have the three needle stitch here so I'm using that to know where to go we're going to sew on the curve so we need to be a bit more careful sit down and let's go one pocket attached so the three needles stitch is on the wrong side and the right side looks like that so we have the pocket yeah. let's do the second one this time because it's the other side uh, my outer needle is going to be or the outer ridge is going to be my help to know where to go, what to cover. And let's go. both pockets are done oh, I've got a bit of excess here but tough right side looks like that I need to remove the basting and the pockets look like that one and the other 